In New York City, police raided the Occupy Wall Street encampment in the middle of the night, arresting 200 protesters and clearing the camp. Demonstrators secured a court order protecting their right to be in the park, but city officials are pressing to keep the encampment closed. The action comes a day after Oakland police cleared that city's Occupy encampment. Community News Production Institute reporter Jessel Noor reports. Shortly after midnight, hundreds of baton and shield-wielding New York riot police carried out a surprise raid on the Occupy Wall Street encampment, where hundreds of protesters have camped out for two months. Police demanded campers leave the park with their belongings or be arrested. Many left voluntarily, but more than 100 resisted nonviolently, locking arms together to defend their camp. But their efforts were defeated, and police violently arrested the remaining protesters and tore down the camp, removing tents and clearing all the protesters' belongings, including the Occupy Wall Street Library, which contained approximately 5,000 books. Shane Stoops has slept at Zuccotti Park since September 17th and says the eviction was not legally justified. They had no legal warrant. They had no judge sign their warrants to come in. We asked repeatedly to see the warrants for eviction. No cop ever showed them to us. No white shirt ever showed us anything. All they gave us was a phony frickin' notice saying about how we are a health and fire hazard. The police have been criticized for preventing media from approaching Zuccotti Park during the raid and for using batons and pepper spray to disperse the remaining protesters. Following the raid, demonstrators regrouped at several locations in Lower Manhattan. At 6 a.m., the Liberty Park Legal Working Group and National Lawyers Guild secured a temporary restraining order from New York Judge Lucy Billings, allowing protesters back into the park. But when hundreds of Occupy protesters returned at 11 a.m., demanding entry, police officers refused to let them in. Take it back! Take it back! Occupy participant Devon Jackson says they won't give up until they're allowed back in the park. My message right now is that they don't know the law, they need to give up their badges because they are in direct violation of a court order. They are in contempt and we have the right to re-enter this park legally and constitutionally. We have the right to assemble and we will stay assembled until we re-enter this park. End of story. Demonstrators have been aided by legal groups, including the Center for Constitutional Rights. Its president emeritus, Michael Ratner, said Mayor Michael Bloomberg and the city of New York need to be held accountable for violating the court order. And they're holding us up so far, and it's amazing to me because this is a court order from a Supreme Court judge. So essentially, Mayor Bloomberg, the city, and the cops are violating a court order. They should and I hope will be held in contempt of court, but you know, they consider themselves bigger than the court system. Occupied protesters say despite the crackdown, they're expecting thousands to turn out on Thursday, when supporters will mark the movement entering its third month by attempting to shut down Wall Street. Jessel Noor, FSRN, New York.